Uh, okay, there we go. I will call the meeting to order. Motion to approve the minutes. There we go. Is there support? Support. All those in favor, say yes. 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 Minutes are approved. The next item on the agenda is the sidewalk waiver request on 44th Street. We visited this once before and requested again and wanted, we're hoping for a reconsideration. And looking at the property, um, you know, you have two things on each, one on each side. One is Sunnybrook, because this, this parcel is on the north side of 44th Street where we do not have a path. We have a path on the south side. One is Sunnybrook and the difficulty crossing, and then the other side is Brook Meadow and the commercial area there. So um, they're requesting a waiver, uh, and I just wanted to bring that, or actually they paid for another appeal, so we're just bringing that here before you again. It would be nice if we had a vehicle that would, that could automatically trigger if and when the day comes, um, but, you know, it, it, with Sunnybrook, I don't know that that day would ever come. So, yeah, I mean, that's the hard part. It's low land, and I think that's the challenge for them filling it, which would be the challenge for us to you ever do anything there. And I think that's why they're willing to try to make something happen in there in that drainage area. So. My opinion on this is that we have already, whoa, well, feedback of myself is out. I'm so sorry. Um, we've already taken action on this, and I wonder if um, procedurally, if we can table it and let the utilities committee of the new board consider it in two months. Um, I don't know how anyone would feel about that, but I feel like we're kind of coming near the end of our tenure and maybe John and I will continue to serve on utilities, but I feel like this current board has spoken to this previously um, and I wouldn't want them to have to pay for a third appeal, but, um, but I am comfortable with where we were previously. I would also be comfortable with reconsidering, um, but I wonder if we can just put their appeal on holds until after the November election. You, you can postpone. Um, I'm not sure if there's a timeline that we, in our ordinance, I'd have to do a research for an answer, but I think we could approach them and say, you know, you may want to uh, wait until November to have your appeal heard. And I'm sure we could tell them the suggested reasons to get a different board to doing it, I, if that's what you're saying. And um, I doubt they would challenge it because you'd get an answer quicker that they might not like, so. Right. I don't know, where do you, how do you guys feel about it? I would be okay with your suggestion, um, but I feel we've already ruled on it. But if, if you feel that you'd like to table it and have it brought before whoever's on the new board, uh, I'm okay with that. Is there a motion? Motion. That will be my motion is to table this until Postpone. the new board is seated in November. Postpone this Postpone. until the new board is seated in November. Yes. I'll support so, that. Is everyone in favor of postponing this? I'm okay with that. Okay, so the motion is postponed. The next item on the agenda uh, is the sidewalk waiver request. Um, oh, that's just the previous minute, sorry. I gotta get past that. Uh, item number six is the difficult one, it's the bicycle slash sidewalk or any type of path along Cottonwood, uh, north of Bower Road. And you have the estimates. I know we wanted to give you a chance to look at it and think it over and kind of know what you'd like to see it there and then where we go from there. Or you just want to see a six foot path at shoulder again, you know, and that would be the easiest option or a sidewalk or a bicycle path. So you do know where the bicycle path is going up 10th and down Taylor. So that county one has that one built. So there is a nice bicycle path. This would more be, you know, sidewalk or something along the road for people getting to the school or in the, in the neighborhood as the neighborhood has been growing out in that area. I spoke first on the last one, but I'll start this conversation. I would be comfortable with notifying the residents of their option to petition for sidewalk installation. Um, or I, I really am neutral on this. That's kind of the one that feels the most comfortable to me. But if you guys had strong feelings otherwise, um, then I am flexible. 
So I just hear what you're saying. Notify, like notify them that they could, if they want to do a petition, would we participate in the cost or anything like that in your idea? Or just, they would pay for it. We would at least finance it for them. Yes. I don't know if you're willing to, to contribute. That's all I was trying to find out a portion. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Well, on, I, I believe on eighth Avenue, I thought we paid 20 or 25 percent yeah I think it was 25 I think you're correct and by doing that we were able to control the the uh, the contractors although I wasn't crazy about the way 8th Avenue turned out now um, with with what she she said here is a little bit different than what you said what we did at okay. Avenue is we mandated installation all right we first mandated installation. Then as part of that mandate, we notified them if they wanted, they could petition the township to put it in and we would contribute. We would do the work, finance, pay 25%. So that's what we did on 8th Avenue. Okay. So I just don't feel like with the county, with what the county has already contributed over there, I don't feel strongly enough about it to mandate it first to trigger that yep. but I would my feelings wouldn't be hurt if I was outvoted by John and Jason on that I just want to make sure the difference between the two so you would you would suggest we just notify them that hey we're looking to build sidewalks if you want them you need to pass a petition and you're suggesting John that you would uh not sh I didn't hear if you're going to mandate them first that's the difference okay I um my feeling is not to necessarily mandate them if there's not support okay uh, I could go with what Becky is saying here so we basically just sent them all a letter saying, you know, the road's going to be widened. If you're interested in sidewalks, you, we would need a petition with signed by a majority of the property owners. And then would we be willing to pay towards yeah, that? percentage? I'd be comfortable with paying 25 if that's what we paid on 8th Avenue. Yeah. I like that. Jason, are you on board with that? I'm on board. So that's a recommendation then. So... Was that a motion, Becky, and supported by John to yes. notify property owners of the of the timing of the road construction for next year? And if they would like sidewalks, they'd have to petition us. And if they do, we would contribute 25% to the cost. And that's a recommendation to the Township Board. Yes. Amos? All in favor, say yes. 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 Okay. So that's unanimous. The uh, so that was item six, item seven, letters and reports. Uh, I think you saw the email and email us. Is there any other business that you want to talk about or discuss? You have the one about the, uh, uh, considering the crosswalk, a different item that's come up in the past. I think long-term we're going to have to face a crosswalk on Cottonwood. It's just, just have to decide when you want to do that, so. That's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough. Yes, but ultimately, I think when the county's trail, if they get it looped through, I think it's just going to have to have some connection points to it. And uh, the demand is going to be for residents to face that. So um, we just have to decide how elaborate and how many and if you want to, what you want to do. So is there any other business? Just if I could ask, Dan, is there a chance that there could be some type of grant available for a crosswalk there? I think uh, Granville did that. Does that come up very often? Um, we could certainly request those kind of things. Sometimes you have it when the when you're the road agency, they can, they have access to certain things for safety, <clears throat> so we could ask for that. Excuse me, we'd have to work with the road commission to see what's eligible because we're not the road agency. Um, of whether some participation could happen. And if you're interested, we could start that process, but we kind of have to first commit to wanting to do it and then starting the process rolling and then see if we can find funds to help pay for it, so. Okay. But, Is this the time though that we would have to do that because of the construction? Well, the, the, no, because the area we'd want to put it is not in the same area where the construction is. Well, that's what I thought, I'm sorry, that's yeah. why I was. Okay. I think the most immediate area, and just it's my opinion, is Elmwood. You have equally consideration for like at the Road Bower Road, uh, we're concerned, but I think Elmwood would be the most logical because we put the path across the street to Maplewood 
uh, park and it kind of connects it all together. I mean, you guys can obviously have your own opinions of where you think they go, but to me, those are the most probable too. Sure. I know you said that something elevated would be a nightmare because you have to be ADA, but I just, I can't imagine stopping traffic on, on that road. Yes. I mean, if you want to be ADA compliant, we can apply for those kind of grants, but that you're looking at a significant expense. You figure uh, an elevator tower, you know, building, I'm guessing 200,000, you know, just for the elevators, you know, you have two elevators, you're building service buildings. So, um, I think you could look at a half a million to a million dollar project to have an elevator. Yeah. But as opposed to stopping traffic on a, practically yeah. a highway down there. Yes. It's unfortunate you can't do like the long ramp. There's not a room for a long, long ramp. Mm -hmm. It's really what you need. And so, but, and maybe you could do that somewhere else. You know, they, they, I know they do them circular now in some places to kind of eliminate the footprint, but that's still a... Yeah, that's buying a house. Mm -hmm. So Barrow Road might have a little more room if we buy empty land from the church and the school uh, to do it. And, you know, we can ask engineers if you really are interested in pursuing that. It's not going to be cheap, but we can ask engineers for new, better ideas. I just don't know them yet. I mean, we can find out from engineers some options if you're really interested in pursuing I think that the option is going to turn into turning that intersection at Cottonwood and Bower into a roundabout because that will slow, would slow traffic way down. And then if you can work a crosswalk into a roundabout, like all of a sudden, ever, you know, when you get to a roundabout, traffic slows down, right? Sure. Um, that, that is kind of what I picture only because, yeah. like Jason said, the elevator shafts just, it just seems way unbelievable. Right. But. But I think Jason was pointing out is that traf that road is heavily used and people travel at quite high speeds to move that traffic. And I think he was thinking of those people would not appreciate yep. the slowdown of the crosswalk either. So, but yes, that would be, be a question at some point to wrestle with. How often can you have someone push that button and turn those lights on and stop that traffic? So at 45 miles an hour, which frequently is significantly faster. Yeah, that's not going 45 miles an hour. If you want me to do anything, let me know, or we can keep talking about that for the future. Is there any good project for uh, Becky and John for the next four <laughs> years? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thanks. Is there support. support for that? Okay. The meeting is adjourned. Thank, Thank you.